We came in to cozy up in Talon's restaurant before the Talon's Challenge starts, and I am now with the manager, Chris Darone. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Well, everybody gets up here really early. You kind of don't realize it as a skier, but you guys have a huge restaurant here. Yep, we have over 900 indoor and outdoor seats now. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we get up here before dark, or now, before the sun comes before up. Before the sun comes up. We were here with you this yes. morning. Now, Chris, five years ago, this restaurant changed from Red Tail, which was just like a little tiny kind of a bar, to a huge restaurant. Yeah, we had a little umbrella bar at the time, which is now Mamie's restaurant. Okay. So we went from about 100 in indoor seats to over 500. Okay, and so it smells so good already. And if anybody's skiing the Talents Challenge today, you guys are unfair to us skiers because you just like pump out the smoke smell and it smells delicious all the time. What's your specialty? Our smoked brisket is our specialty okay. and we smoked that for over 18 hours outside on our upper deck. Oh, wow. And so is that coming in a sandwich form or like just uh, you get a side of it? How does it work? Most people get it as a s sandwich, but you can also get it as a salad topper. Oh, yum. A yeah. See, you could be healthy, too. Yes. Okay, so Talon's Restaurant, big bar upstairs. There's going to be live music today. Down here is really where you can get a bunch of menu items. Now, we I just saw that there's elk sausage on the menu today. That's different than last week. How come? Well, we try to change it up and give people something different. Last week was a lamb sausage. This week we're going with elk because we stuff it all here in-house so we can do whatever we want. So you guys are operating a big restaurant right here in the middle of the mountains. It must be tough to get stuff up. How does the, how does the inside? operation go? The logistics is very interesting. We actually bring people in at night and that's when the snowcat brings up to 10 bins full of food up for us every night. Okay, good. So you have a little help with the snowcat. We got to ride one this morning. Those, those are kind of fun. But if you're looking for a meal, you know you need a break, maybe you're doing the talent challenge, then you can come in, you can get a full meal. There's soup, there's salad, there's brisket, there's mac and cheese, but there's also some quick stuff, grab and go right behind us, which is like making my stomach growl. This right. Morning. If you don't want to wait for your food, Come grab a sandwich, mm -hmm. salad. Um, it's all delicious. It's all delicious. Do you have a favorite? What do you eat all the time if you're up here? I usually just eat an epic burger. You do? Yeah. Okay. Everybody loves the epic burger. Now, um, do you get a chance to go out and do some runs during the day or anything like that? Probably not today, but yes, it's yeah. a, it is a job perk. Because Talent Challenge, it's going to bring a lot of people here to the restaurant because we're looking at like 1,200 people to participate in that. Mm -hmm. And this is usually an expert area where you're not, you know, there's a lot of people that come to the restaurant, but maybe they're just kind of watching the folks ski. Right. We don't get a lot of level one to three skiers mm -hmm. here. Just that, that's the train we have. So. so is that why you made a menu that's so hearty? Because you're like, I know that these skiers are riding those bumps and they're going to be really hungry. You know, people on vacation, when they get here, they've burned their calories they deserve a big hearty meal. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what about a beer? I mean, you've got a full bar upstairs, yep. and this place gets pretty bumping and hopping and when the weather's nice. Mm -hmm. We have about 15 microbrews, mm -hmm. local beers on, in cans and bottles, mm -hmm. but we also have eight beers on tap. Okay, I love having an on-tap beer after a ski right. day or when you're ready to be finished or something like that. Okay, so you've got the brisket, you've got salads, grab-and-go downstairs, tons of seating, good amenities, there's bathrooms, there's water. What else happens here? Um, uh, we have a Verizon charging station, so when your phone dies from the cold weather, you come in and charge it while you're taking a break. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, the bar is definitely the high, one of the highlights of the building. Yeah, well, the bar is, and there's a deck out there as well. And that, like, even when it's snowing out, people are just having a good time out there. Right. We're kind of protected from the wind down mm -hmm. here in this little valley. So people, even on, not on the super cold days, but on regular days, it's real, very comfortable to sit outside. Okay, well, Chris, thanks for taking the time. I know you're really, really busy this morning. He is going to recommend the brisket. The grab-and-go looks awesome as well. This is Talon's Restaurant. This is going to be where the party spot is later on this afternoon for the Talon's Challenge. So if you are skiing Beaver Creek, head on up to the Talon's Restaurant. Thank you so much for your time this morning. We are live from Beaver Creek all morning long. Mark Sassy is doing first chair. We'll find out how the conditions are. We'll also be talking to the folks from the Beaver Creek Resort Company in just a moment.